the last day of New York Fashion Week, and to finish big, we had huge shows from Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein Collection, and tonight, Marc Jacobs. Joining us tonight is an old friend of the site, uh, CEO and co-founder of the Webster Miami, Laura Ariard Dubroy, as well as uh, Style.com's own senior beauty editor, Amber Callard. I'm Matthew Schneier, deputy editor of Style.com. I'm Marina Larude, market director at Style.com. And this is Front Row Unfiltered. So, Maureen, I know you were at Ralph Lauren this morning. What looks stuck at you from the presentation? I really like Carly Claus in this strapless cobalt blue gown. As she was passing by us, she stepped on the gown and almost like popped out of the gown itself. Well, it was like it such so. a moment. But you know how Carly is. She just put it together so well and like the girl kept on walking. I know you've said in the past Ralph Lauren is a show that's uh, brought you to tears. I'm curious, was Carly's near miss with a wardrobe malfunction a tearjerker for you? <laughs> I always get very emotional when I see Ralph Lauren coming out for his finale bow and then he kisses everyone, hugs everyone. It's a very emotional moment, especially after a day that you're barely like sleeping and working like crazy. It's a nice finale touch. What uh, was your beauty look of the day today? My beauty look of the day, hands down, was from Ralph Lauren. It was executed perfectly by Guido Paolo, who gave the girls polished blowouts backstage. And Tom Pichot, the makeup artist, gave a nod to the 60s with a little bit of white liner that was blended over the lid and lots of black mascara. Two of the top in the game, as, as far as I understand from my uh, brief forays into backstage beauty, Guido and Tom, is that about right? Yes, it's a, it's a definite dynamic duo backstage at Ralph Lauren. Moving on, our Instagram of the day comes from the Calvin Klein Collection show. You know, here's an overused word, but I thought there was something artisanal about the real materiality of the looks. And I think it was an un uncommon and unlikely look for uh, for Calvin Klein, which is often associated with a real kind of uh, austerity and purity. It was clean, as Francisco always do, but with a different touch. All the fringes that we have seen this week at Rodarte, De Ro, and again at Calvin, it add like a texture to the looks as well. And just to translate for those of you at home who don't speak Marina, that's fringe, the fringes that she's seen at Rodarte, De Ro, and now Calvin Klein. Now you can wear fringes or fringes, girls. <laughs> Touche. Our street style moment of the day is uh, the unbelievably gorgeous young model Marina Deleu in uh, a very spring summery pink gingham dress with uh, Philip Lim's mini Pashley bag. You know, Matt, I'm surprised that the print didn't stick up. I don't know what to tell you, Marina. It's a fabric with a long and illustrious history. I mean, who can forget Dorothy's gingham dress in The Wizard of Oz, picnic blankets, Italian tablecloths. I, I think it's mystifying why it hasn't had more of an impact. <laughs> We have just come from what I can only call a befuddling Marc Jacobs show. I'm hoping you can explain to me what was going on there. So yes, it was pretty apocalyptic tonight. Black sand everywhere with cigarette butts. Actually, I was wondering at the beginning if it was on purpose or not, but yes, it was definitely on purpose. Well, yeah, I mean, the words that I kept hearing circulate through the crowd were frat party at the apocalypse, beach blanket bingo for zombies. Uh, you know, it, it was a very strange collection. So Matt, our look of the day, it's Marc Jacobs look number four. It's the Bermuda shorts paired with like um, a Victorian jacket in navy with black tassels details. Well, that's the real statement jacket, Marina, and you've never shied away from making a statement. Is this uh, what we're gonna see you tromping around in come spring? I cannot wait to wear that jacket, man. And Mark Jacobs reintroduced the mini tonkas here, which is our accessory of the day. You like <laughs> it or not. Laura, I'm interested as a retailer, is this something that you see women in the real world rushing out to buy? Definitely, and I think also there's a big revival for flat shoes. <laughs> I call them for Garanta shoes, which I love actually, I'm very happy happy to start wearing them again. <laughs> this wraps up uh, New York Fashion Week. Laura, I want to thank you so much for being here tonight. I know we are eating away at uh, your valuable Calvin Klein party time. Thanks to Amber Caller, our uh, senior beauty editor, for being here with us tonight. We will be coming at you next from uh, London, where we will have dispatches straight from the scene with uh, Tim Blanks. I bet you can't wait for Paris, Marina, and the French Revolution you've been waiting for so desperately can finally come to pass. Be sure to subscribe at video.style.com and tweet at us or Instagram at hashtag frontrowunfiltered.